the void, but somehow different this time. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The Outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me who did? We were just playing. Young Lady Jessie, what is your account? It was her! Delilah's life! She broke it. prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Her sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. Mother? That wasn't a dream, was it? Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawn to an end. Soon. Jindosh wanted 
ordered me to help him. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge that I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous. As obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to? We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. To Dunwall, I brought back a river cross shell to use as a national anthem because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady <laughs> sure she has money, so she gets the wood she wants. <laughs> Please, 
just take a look around. We have the best wares for discerning guests. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. I played my part when I was the kid. Please, visit again soon. You won't play along. You're the worst thug I've ever seen. Pirate Betty, my ass. You couldn't scare a seagull. What's going on here? Who's there? Hey, you! Yes. Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Monsters in the brine, dancing hagfish on the line. Martha, won't you marry me? Well, weeks have I been at sea?
Someone there? Karnaka, my Karnaka, my Karnaka, brothers and sisters of my blood, and all the little people who make this great city turn the law. This is the Duke. This is the Duke. You, know, you must all know my voice by now. A new empress sits on the, new empress sits on the throne in Dunwall. Our rightful ruler, Delilah the Wind. May she reign forever. May she reign forever. Traitors are so much. Traitors are questioned. Her claim to the throne. somewhere inside the Royal Conservatory. People of Karnak, people of Karnak, the Dukes of the Duke. Some of you, some of you, 
Stricter mind. Stricter mind. Levy by the grand by the grand guard. 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 Let me answer. Let me all answer of all of this crowd and busting at once. Disloyalty and sedition will not be tolerated. Look at Duncan Bale. Look at Duncan Bale. Right. Man who won't stop. Man who won't stop. The man who turns every silver into silver shiny shiny coins. I asked him to double the number of mine workers. He did it. No questions. No questions. No complaints. No complaints. Karnaka needed mine. He produced them. Out of finish. Out what happened to Pearlton and Lieutenant Colbers? They probably ran off, you ask me. Must have had said to give you his regards. That donkey-faced cretin can open his wrists for all I care. Did you bring me something? The silver sick... No, no, no! Help! Help! Guard! Someone! Help me! Someone! Anyone! I need assistance! Someone! Protect me! is a place of riches. And not all get a seat at the banquet table. Ah! 
going first. To find out how a sword through the heart wasn't enough to kill our new Empress Delilah.
Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. Jindosh was tiresome. How does this even work? Our mistress here has been looking at her old journals in the Forbidden Archives. She's going to be cross. I only had a bit of a few. The woman was busy with something elaborate. I wanted to know what it was. I'm teasing Tamina. I read it too. This journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed.
After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. You never know who to trust, do you? Everybody makes mistakes, Empress. You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. 